to take over Caracas. That was the objective, and that, the opposition claims, is what they achieved. Hundreds of thousands from all around the country demanding a recall referendum. You can see on the streets that the response has been very strong. Venezuelans are asking for a plebiscite. We want a constitutional solution so that the people can, through the votes, get the country out of the crisis. The opposition claims around a million people gathered in Venezuela's capital. We need to make changes. We are suffering from insecurity, unemployment and a lack of food. We want the government to listen to us. Not far away, government supporters gathered to show that President Nicolás Maduro is not alone. Maduro claims the opposition is paving the way for a coup. We captured top members of the right wing who wanted a coup and who had plans to place bombs, had weapons and thousands of counterfeit dollars. They had plans to attack their own people. Shortly after Maduro's speech, small clashes erupted between opposition protesters and the police. The opposition is pushing the Electoral Council to set a date so they can gather signatures that will pave the way for a plebiscite. They're promising more demonstrations in the days to come. The opposition does not have a lot of time. If the recall referendum happens this year, then there should be a general election. If it happens after January the 10th and Maduro loses, and the vice president could be handpicked by anyone from the current government. There are little chances that a recall referendum will happen anytime soon. As Nicolás Maduro has made it clear that he won't give in to the opposition demands. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.